When you come to building a base Knesset, there is there is halachas. We touched in the Gemara about the halachas of some of the halachas, but it's all over Shas here and there. Yeah. And the Ebeshte helped. It's an unusual thing that you have to learn these halachas to know. But there's a lot of halachas in the construction of a shul. I remember I went to Mecca Shlichus. I was in Auckland, and uh, the shul was a beautiful shul. The main shul of Auckland was like Auckland, Auckland the New Zealand. A huge, huge shul, a gorgeous shul. But it was like built, like very kosher. And, you know, I was like surprised. Uh, and one of the things is that the bima was exactly in the emtsa besaknesis, and besides that, but he built that both sides were like it was like sort of pyramid going up on the right and on the left. The center was empty. It was like such a big building, even though you know it was like it had plenty of space. So it was like, like or not? no, nothing like it. It's like the the whole center is empty. Yeah, and then on the right is benches like kings, the, the, yeah I didn't see but kings, kings like going up going up then and the bima is smack in the middle and in front of the bima there's one row of seats so I said wow whoever built this was a Talmud Chochem as I asked the people who built the shul so they pointed here's this the, this the architect <coughs> and I went over I said Shalom Aleichem I said, wow. He said, every detail in the shul I did according to tradition. And I know that there was this thing from the Hassam Soifer. And he started telling me, like he didn't look like a guy that would know much. But he knew that when you do construction of a shul, um, that there's a lot involved. And there was, uh, in the days of the Hassam Soifer, um, there was, uh, in, in all over, Hungary, especially, there was a there was a problem of Jewish community splitting up and becoming reformed. Unfortunately, many of them <laughs> were in their training. Actually, Tamid they 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 huh? it was a big Yet Sahara. It was a big Yet Sahara. Big and, money, right? One of the things, yeah, I, I'm giving a little bit of background so you when we read it inside, you understand what's going on. Um. We're talking about time for Alter Rebbe or after? Mm, after, time Mittler Rebbe. When the... The movement... The Soif Yom of the Alter Rebbe. The Alter Rebbe already... The movement of the... Of the oh, Soif Yom of the Alter Rebbe. Yeah. Okay. Scholar? Mm. A scholar. A scholar. Yeah. The top book went to a scholar. And, the, and uh, they... In, in the, the, see, the whole history of, in, in Hungary, the, the way the Gdoyli Sral dealt with it, it was to... Shai Gitzaros. Right. It was impossible to do otherwise. It was they had to separate. That's a, that's what they made sort of a different community that was called Orthodox. That's where Orthodox comes from. In Rusland, they didn't know what Orthodox from Orthodox. Sure. Ayid, Ayid, you know, you know, in you, Ukraine, was and, uh, a Jid or a Russian, exactly. They didn't know such things. You were a Jid or not a Jid. They didn't know uh, reform, Orthodox, from Orthodox, they didn't know such things. Anyway, so what happened, the bottom line is they started to build shuls. What the problem with the reform is they, they call themselves a little different. They, they call them dialogues, whatever. This is the same thing, different name, the same stuff. Is that uh, they're very apologetic Jews. They want it to look like the Nats and Rahman and Islam. So the, the question is how far they went. Uh, some 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 reform shuls today don't even have a prayer for Yerushalayim. No, if you look at because uh, that's a uh, but 
But one of the first things that they did was to make the shul look like the Bote Tifla. Like, wow, the churches look so nice. Let's make the shul look like a church. Now, one of the things in the church is the typical church does not have a bima. A bima beends a base knesses. They don't have. They have the front. They have a podium. They have a hulu in the front. There's no such thing in the middle. There's no such thing as the middle. So they what they did was they put the bima should be in in the in with this daughter and kodesh. There's a platform. There's the bima. There's everything is in the front. By the reform, like that. By the reform. The main reason they did it is because they wanted to copy the, the base tifla. Oh. So, so the Chassam Seifer went out in a campaign against this. Mm-hmm. Two Talmidim of the Chassam Seifer wrote a Seifer about it. I, I, I know we gave a sheet about it, uh, push it 15 years ago, 16 years ago. I remember so, the Rebbe Davin in, in uh, French, and he came to Ashul. And, it, and the Bimeh was right in the front and the center, and the Rebbe stood outside and didn't want to go inside. The Gedele Yisrael were very strict about it. They said, mm-hmm. you're not allowed to walk into the shul. Now, we actually have here a problem, but Em Al-Asot. This is the Emsa. This is Em Al-Asot. This is a really big Bidi of it. It's a big, big, big Bidi of it. You do, all the way to the back. Exactly. It's a big Bidi of it. It's really, this is not the way it should be. It should be here in the side. Exactly. But... Uh, Two svarim, the Tamid Chassam Sefer wrote two. One is, uh, to each Talmud wrote a whole Sefer. Wow. 30, 40, one of the other pages, 300 pages, called Mechor uh, Lassam To go, the Chassam Sefer wrote, uh, you know, two paragraphs about it. Chassam Sefer said that the Bima has to be in the middle. Why? Because the Bima represents the Mizbeah. And just like in the in the in the Kodesh, in front of the Kodesh Hakadoshim, there's the Kodesh Hakadoshim where over there there's the Luchas that that's the Oren, similar to the Oren Kodesh, and then right in front of the Oren Kodesh, but in the next room, in the center, center, center between the Shulchan and the Menorah was the Mizbeach, was in the center. Mizbeach Azov, right. And and the bima represents the mizbeach, and especially that the minig Yisrael is to go on sukkis and to go around, and in the reform shul you can't do that. So he said that the min and still holiday. Exactly, <laughs> they do it. They do it on Zoom now, right? Yeah. So he can't. There has to be bima has to be beemza besaknasis. There was a few, the, the Talmudim already wrote up a whole Sefer, but this is, obviously, the main thing that bothered the Chassam Sefer is, the person's not allowed to go in the ways of the Goyim, and these are, clearly, they were going in the ways of the Goyim, and therefore he held the shul that was built that way, it's also to go in. In fact, that's the way we're knowing today, that we don't go into a shul that's reformed, Rahman al and sometimes a big Nesoyim, because a person could get a lot of money, and there's a chazan or chaveis a rov a chazan a shamish chazanit yeah but but we're not allowed to as I there's because it's the same like teleichu and they're trying to make it like a base tifl and that's the bottom line but this uh, shuls try to make it according to some zayfer the bima should be mamish beemza the problem is sometimes it doesn't really work I'll explain to you why a lot of shuls doesn't work. If you're going to have, and it's going to be a mitzvah in the, what we're designing right now, if you're going to have, um, like a lot of shuls like to do, you're going to have, um, and you're going to have a double ceiling, you know, the 23 feet. Then you're going to have the women in the back, right? So for 50%, the back 50% of the shul is 10 feet and 10 feet. The front is nice, 23 feet up, like Rabbi Khan has it like that. Right. We are going to put the bima, you're going to put the bima in the, in the middle, the women, when they look down, they're not going to see the because the, the, the beam is already under their feet. Too close to the it's under the feet of the ladies. The ladies want to be able to see and hear the the balcony when he reads. And you can make like a step, not a step like a so. Run. A lot of the terapal poil because to realize the some stuff. The main thing wasn't so much the mizbeach. The main thing was the same like the same Right, that was the main thing. So. Still, the, the Rebbe brings that you should try to have at least one bench 
at least one bench in front in front of the bima. So no. At least one bench no, in, in front of the bima. So yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Huh? Why is that? Because lohoitzi, not like the reform. The, the but the tifla of the Nazarim have it in the front. So even if we're not going to have it in the mamish, the center of the basic nesses, it's, it's a hacker that it's different because the Nazarim never have such a thing. So uh, so it's already nicker that it's not like the botetif of the Nazi. In the new school, the, is that Meshem upstairs or the same side? Hopefully it'll be upstairs. Same style, okay. Yeah. So so that's a, Shaila, that's a Shaila. That's a Shaila. You can't get the answer until he pays money. <laughs> so the, the answer... Why? What? What? Said someone is asking how we're going to build a new shul. Why is the Tell them if you want to know, you have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> downstairs or upstairs? Okay. I don't know. So, so that that's that's the bottom line. That's the uh, the, the Moshe, other place come today said that there wasn't the Akkad is not so mamish mamish. It has to be in the center, the center, of the basic nessus. As long as it's not like the Nazim. Okay, but let's let's read a little bit inside. We finish off quickly. We're finishing off some of noon. Uh, it says that you should make uh, the door going into the base of Knesset. Uh, it should go Hatzad Shem Espalim by Baisa Yir Shem Espalim Lamaydev Yif Tachul Lamizrach. Today she Shtachim from Min Hapesach Kenege the Oren Shul Beruch Shem Espalim Kenege. Wherever the Oren Kodesh is, in the back of the Shul should be the door going into the base of Knesset. Baisa Bima Beemtsa Base of Knesset. She Yamad Ala Koyde Betoyde Yish Mukulam. That his face has to face the Oren Kodesh. Say the Yeshiva Kachi. As Kenim Yoshim Pneim Klape Aum. Beshar Aum Kulim Yoshim Shur Shur Pneim Klape Kodesh Pnei As Kenim. Do what the Rambam says that way too. What happens in something where they did the Bime, the Rebbe, all the way in the back of the Shul? Kim Shmonas. Which way did that? Our Kodesh? Face the Rebbe? No, they face Aum Kodesh. So the, There's actually an interesting question. The sometimes the they, uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes a shul, uh, what happens if you can't put the Oren Kodesh in the Mizrach? There's a Shaila Chronim. You have to try very hard to put it in the Mizrach. And in the Mizrach Gufa, you have to try very hard to put it in the center of the Mizrach. Now, with that, there is two Minhagim. Ruiv Klal Yisrael, and uh, the Ramosha writes that this is Lepoyo. Uh, the the minigan of Hasidim Taka, there is some that do otherwise. Um, by Rav Claudius Royal, the minig is that the that the Chazan Davin's Yemin, because there's a certain Milan being in the Yemin, the min of the Oren Kodesh, like we have it here. That is the Yemin Oren Kodesh. If you some about the Knesses of the Ika by Chasidim, you see that the Chazan is the smoil of the Oren Kodesh. Why? The, you never see, I think in, yeah, uh, yes, in yes. Landau's, they have the Tachaz and Damans and Smoil yeah. Aram Kodesh. By Rubin also. Yeah. What's the reason for that? The reason for that is because in those Kehillahs, they wanted to give Ahashivas to the Rav to sit Yemin, the God of the Manik Shalakol should sit Yemin, and therefore they put the Tachaz and Smoil. Well, the Poil, if you look in a lot of old uh, Botic Nasiyas, like a lot, they, you see the Poil that the uh, Minig was to put. The Chazan Yemin of the Oren Kodesh. Rabbi Betora, the Bima is for the Chazan, for the Sefer and everything. Right. So that's something that's different as far as the Menashkenazim. The Bima Be'emtsa Be'saknesses is the same thing. The Shaila is where the, where the Chazan is standing. If he's standing in the side of the Oren Kodesh, standing at the Bima, that's a different as far as the Menashkenazim. In other words, another thing the Ravad Yosef says that this thing that Ashkenazim have. That's written here. Shukhanarach. The Ramah says that Be'emtza, he says, if you look at a lot of old shuls in Egypt and other places, they were more towards the back, not in the front like the reform, the opposite. That they were they used to have very big botic nasius, and they and when you speak, your voice carries more in front of you, they not cast, so much in back. Cast it to a different right. Place. So they would put the bima more towards the back. So so again. So even by the Ashkenazim, it's not like you... Most, most shuls, even Ashkenazim today, are not putting the bima in the, in the center. Because it's very hard. If you can put it in the center, 
then you you're, the, the, you're, you're losing out of it a lot. Again, look look across the street, Rabbi Kahn. If you'd put it, if you'd put it in the center, it's center, the right. It's, it's closer to the okay, So the, as I'm saying, no one's doing. Most shuls exactly. are not doing the emtza mamish mamish mamish. Very few. The only shuls that are doing the emtza emtza. If you have a lot of space, like the shul in Auckland, that the guy, the architect, had measured it should be bediuk be emtza be emtza be emtza. And taka, a lot of space gets lost. But they had a huge shul in here, and it's nice. It's taka gorgeous. Wow. Some seventies, most of them say, "Yeah, it's taka." Okay. Was Auckland the show was recently huh? built? Was recently built? Was in Auckland? Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, built uh, from the hundreds. Nah, nah. No, it's not true. So after the only construction, they maybe they had, but then this is an oppressive show. They built. Uh... Okay. And let's read a little bit in the Mishnah Um Okay, so we talk about the on Kodesh. The beam by the Arizal Shul in Sfat. Yeah. It's so high, you have to go like 10 steps up. There's a big discussion about how many steps there should be. There's a discussion that the, the boys can say that the, the Oren Kodesh should have a Duchen. And because that reminds us of the Duchen that was in the Vesa Mikdash where the Koinim stood on the Duchen, it should be three steps. And that the Bima should have six steps. Higher than the Duchen. Yeah, the, the Duchen should have three steps and uh, and the, the Bima should have six steps. Why? Because Neged, the six Midas and the Bima itself is connected Midas Amalchus. But the front of the Beis Aknesses, that's connected the Duchen and the Beis Amikdash, which over there is three steps. Also, there's any brought in the Zohar about uh, 12 windows. Also, there's a discussion of the windows. A lot of uh, poets can say that the minute was to make it a little higher so people don't look through, but now they end up light come in. Okay. The reason why there are angels in the rebound people who are fighting people who are fighting. So, 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 and the real reason that, that we're going to see inside here, there's a discussion, the people that are sitting in front of the bima, uh, we're going to talk about in a minute, that uh, that uh, the shaila is where they're facing. Um, no, and, okay. So, the, the, because the bima is on a, on a platform, we're, we're saying that it's not Okilo, their back is to the Sefer Torah. Oh, but it's, it's much higher than the whole... Right, that's, it's not Kilo, they're back. That, they're, so it's higher than the people. This is for Adim, the Betorah, and the Bema, yeah. in the front of the Bema, they oh, yeah, go, yeah. yes. and they put their pushkers and forever scoring. Right, but right. after it is a lot of people sitting. Right after it, people no, sitting. No, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. No, let's read. Sit in the front. Let's read. Let's read in the Mishnah Bruna. Um, Sifkot Yud. Okay. I'm this I'm not gonna go on tonight. Uh we had a big shock of Atari in our mind because there's shuls in New York that their beam is basically the own Kurdish is here. Some shuls on Kurdish is Mashuch this way and some this way. And everyone's arguing that this is must be Dafka this way. Like in Landau Shul. They have a dafka this way. There are some shuls that have a dafka this way. Mm. Yeah. And some have it this way. And um, we're going to dedicate the mitzvah Shem Bli Neder. I, I was my eye in it and I really came in my mind to Moscona. But I, Moscona is nice, but I want to Bli Neder. I'll, I'll, I, even bought, I even bought myself a globe and I, I bought it uh, for $14 to bring it here and Bli Neder to give a shear. And it's cute to see the all the shittas. The problem is the world is not flat. So if you look at Yerushalayim to New York, I mean, you can make a line. The problem is it's like this. So, you know, you make believe you go this way, this way, you're following the planes. We'll talk about it. Uh, but the bottom line is, wherever you determine that that's where you're putting the Arun Kodesh, Keneged, Eretz Yisrael, um, uh, which, by the way, the Alter Rebbe holds that it has to be Latzad Yerushalayim, not Mizrah. There's nothing unique about Mizrah. It has to be Latzad Yerushalayim. There are people that are not Medayik so much. Uh, whatever, uh, just call us. The Alter Rebbe holds that you do have to be Medayik. Like if you're in Baghdad. Or huh? Like if you're in Baghdad. 
Right, and we have to be very medallic, the Altarebbe holds. The Altarebbe has a whole mathematical equation. There's a Sefer, someone wrote them. He goes through the Altarebbe and the Gro, different things that they that we see in their Swaram that they knew that scientifically was not so known in their times of Chal. It's like a Pella Otsum. They lived in Eastern Europe. They were not didn't have access to a library of Congress. They didn't have they didn't have all these books. And uh, it, there's a whole thing, Meshulish Bekaduri. The question is what Alta means. It is all a mathematical equation that Alta Rebbe comes up with, with this, like a Meshulish, which is some mathematical thing. The Shaila is what he means. Um, and, uh, and, and based on that, you'll know wherever you are, where to find the Mizrach of Yishlaim. So uh, again, Blina, the one we give a Shia about. This guy says, the Pile Ploim, in the same time of the Alta Rebbe. You block by block, one shoot, one on the shield, one on the shield. Yeah. You go to the next neighborhood. Yeah. Couple shoes, this one right, this one here. There are people that have no idea. They sense. don't know. They're just building. But but there are shittas about this. There are there are here in New York, there are people that are building shoes now and they're going dafka this way, some are going dafka this way. Now Mitzvah Shem, when we go through it, you see there is there's three shittas over here. Bakaponim, wherever you decided to put your your Arun Kaidish, so you have to make that the door should go from the other side, walking in towards the Arun Kaidish. That, that that's it. That the that the yeah, but the uh, that the that, uh, that that's the din. The din is that you have to the, the door going into the basic nessus has to be wherever the the, the order code is. Used. So if you say it's simple, that you have here, the order code is here. The doors have to be here. Now there have to some say some say that. We're soon going to talk that you need to have a foyer. And some say that the door shouldn't be mamash mukhuvan here, just like you see in the base of Mikdash, that they walked in, they walked in one end and they walked out the other end. So the door should be side on the side. That's okay. Center. We're not mamash in the center, but but across and down. Okay. Across and down Kodesh. That should be able to be here. Not like what we have here. Yes, it should be across from the Aron Kodesh. Okay. And the Ad Kedekach, in those days, people had Chazaka from places. So now the Manhigam want to set up the shul, should be different. And they want to make, let's say they used to be that the doors were here. Now there's a guy that has a seat, Lamazan, right here. You're moving a seat. They're making, the, you're moving a seat. They say, ah, I'm a Chazaka, I'm here for 55 years. Chazaka is the din. Ikev Adin Asahor. Okay. Uh, also, when we spoke about this, you know, Hong Kong went soon, you bought it, it's yours, so or what? No, because those days, we spoke about it, those days they had a Mokim Kabu because it, when they would buy a, a property and build a shul, the way they read, they made the funds was the Chatkila, they sold all the seats. They sold them once and for all and ended. So it's That's yours. how they had the money to build. It's yours, yours. You're allowed to sell it to somebody else. One yeah, yeah. Okay. Negative orange, Shaburu, a time should start to play orange, and we're going to have a tour. When my heckles are broken, it's bound to make a basic English name for the heckles and the killer. Boys and Bima, they know some yoys and Meshesh Madregis Labima. You shouldn't do more than six steps for the Bima, Mogan from Meshem Azoya. And like I said before, that the duchen should have three steps, and the and the and the smashma you could do less, just not more. As we mentioned before, the svardim that's not their meaning. Say the yeshiva of actual ain inyan l'say there's zeh ki koyna mekemes kamakim mizorak shleyasad from makim leishiv lav bein abinu ben hechol beveshiv nei adyoshiv kenegeda bima vachayr v'laich. Should never be that people have their behind to the hech. The gnai, the surinami ikets are isu. The aim of the albima and the barakh of Mishtachim and the Mishtachim Number one, if a person is sitting 
in front of the bimah. So his number, Easter number one is that is the is the Echel Hashem. And this is number two, when a people goes Baruch Hashem and Boirach, it's like saying to him, Im loy sheyasa amokim min atzdod, because we're going to go to the Akshay, some of them say, it's Labim Shekelem, Am, Al Mamira, whatever, it's a higher space. Am I so, and I'm davening, I should make an effort to daven behind the arrow, not in front. No, we're not talking. We're talking about if a person would be standing, uh, say, would have a seat between the Arun Kodesh and the Bima, and is behind us to the Arun Kodesh, and his face is to the Bima, so that, if, that would have been a double problem. He's behind us to the Arun Kodesh. And when a person is saying, Baruch Hashem it looks like he's bowing to the person who has a seat. A Malkam Kavua right there. Got it. Now, how about this? This is event. It's a fancy shows. It's all in my brain. So the rabbis are on the top and the president is on the top. There's no much power in our greatest. No, it's not only. No, it's in the side. And the side. And on the side. Because on the side. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. And the people that do both of them are No, he says they're not. It's Kenny Wation. The face of the Yeah, okay. It's Kenny Wation. When they sit back, okay, they're not sitting in front of them. Now, the, the shaila is that the Akhren talk about is how you talking that the Rav is Doidish and Akhoidav Le Oren Koidish. So, there's a few things that the Orach Hashulchan says. Uh, number one, he doesn't have a permanent seat there. He, and number two, is he's darshaning Lakovid Shemayim. The word Tak of some Gedoyli Yisrael, the one Makbid, never to stand with their Akhrayim. To the to the Hechel Hashem. Very few good early saw they had a big akpada, so they would stand a little to the side like this, a little side that, but it didn't matter. But you know, the mini is that uh, when you when you dash in, in the basic nessus, yeah, but it shouldn't be Stam Droshis, you know, about uh, Uncle Teddy and uh, and Gussie. It shouldn't be Divri Toyra. I'm I'm saying that's what the Akharonim say. That's what uh the Han and Purface. The Kahanam is different because that's their, their, their the no, again yeah, it's similar to the ones are Makbit would be last in the Kahan to face the back. So if a, a, a coin that's Makbit should not stand with a Khoidiv to the Hechel Hashem, so let him stand to, like to the right. Um, yeah, if he would be a Rov and he would be Makbit, and if he's a coin, he's Makbit, it's the same thing. We're going to give you an Ivan on seat, so be ready. Uh-huh. I'm saying, right of the Ogun is the left of the Ogun, but not the right of the. Okay, let's relearn a few pieces in the Mishnah Berurah. Um, um, let's read quickly the three pieces of here. I'm Mishnah Berurah, much because I'm going to be wrong, but I talk to you, I appreciate my brother, back to me, I didn't ask him, but I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to be Okay, whatever. Let's go to the next piece. Shubaru, I'm Mishnah Berurah, I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to the Mishavur is saying, what happens in a shul that uh, it just doesn't work out? They can't build that the Oren Kodesh should be in the Mizrah. So on the one hand, you say it's weird. Now we're being Mispalo, and their face is not towards the Oren Kodesh. So he says, "Swara like this." I'll most say, yeah, I would say it's mashman that way also in Al Terebe. That when you daven, you have to be klapa Yerushalayim, regardless where the Aron Kodesh is. That's not so important. The Mizrach is more important than Yerushalayim. No, not so important. The Aron Kodesh, even if they built in a way. So that's why you have yeah. some shchone would be uh, one one so five 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 no, the, the, the landos they hold that that's the pshat, that's mizrach. It's a halt that that's a mizrach. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. uh, should never go different than the call. Because oh. that's what the call it's making a mediva and it's not, yeah. you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 um, yeah. Look, if everyone did it, okay. Say, if they, the question was, they built the shul and they couldn't put, uh, so that's the discussion. Another interesting discussion that Rebbe had. Someone wrote a letter. Right? When it was a closed shul and he built it. The Aron Kodesh was set from that battle. No, no. Yeah. Someone wrote a letter to the Rebbe asking they can build a shul with the, where the Aron Kodesh is sticking out. Which is 
Yeah, yeah, you save room. You save room. The Rebbe said, no. It's, 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 Mamish, it's a capella. Same wind has that. It's a capella. Right. So the Rebbe says, why? Because we look and all the old Botic Nasiyas, it's not that way. I in Truva Sam Sofer about changing even a small detail in the shul and you're ready, uh, you know, stepping uh, the, up. So the Rebbe says, if it's in a place where that's their minig, say that. But if that's not your minig, um, no. Interesting. I mean, I it's wouldn't think. The time lit and the whole thing sticking out to the window there. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not. It's only the, it's not only the on dish. It's a whole the whole platform. Yeah. Go outside. Here. Right. Go outside. Right, right, right. You'll see there's a, yeah. a gray rectangular box. Yeah. Master? Yeah, yeah. The Emtza Beis Haknesses came of Ur Ben Amba Betur Mine Kodemu Mekoyer Mesech Sukik Meshkosav Agro that in the that the market of the Bima Bim Emtza Beis Haknesses is in Mesech Sukik but the same Rav and Beis Mekoyer is Portsa Mine Kodemim Zeh He's still alas as a Bima Samach Lord and Kodesh Nei Shirot Zaleilach Vedarke Agoyim Kamoish Oisem Mechol Shalem Shekoyim Temple Shekoyim Temple. The famous Tshuva Simon Koyach Chavches, the Tshuva, which is a whole Sefer, the Tshuva Simon Koyach Chavches, 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 so that's why the Rebbe felt, for the same reason, like some soifer, that just like the Bim has to be Be'emtza, and just like the Oren Kodesh has to be Be'emtza, because the Minik for them was not to, uh, not to have it, uh, not to have the Oren Kodesh go out. But for states of that, again, just like the Bim of Be'emtza, basic Nessus, these are not Halach uh, Lomayish Masinai. If a person is doing it, and it's a practical, it works out for space, whatever, that's just the best usage of land. Um, Some about Taloch here, there's a Chabad Shul in Florida, next to the highway, I forgot the highway name, huge highway. And they put the mineral over there, and they got the reform was very against it. So the, they went to court, and the judge says, you have to take out the mineral. You can't put the mineral in there. Even though it's the yard from the shul, you can't put it. So they rebuilt the shul again, and the whole world highway, they make it as a monero. Uh, that's that's the shoot. So after what has uh-huh. everybody only around obviously the monero, not just uh, uh-huh. so that, that that was legal. I don't uh-huh. say on your own property you can't put up on that. The judge was uh, because they pay the pay of the judge. So they said thank you for the reform? Yes. Because of them, everybody uh, see it. Now all only around. It's it's similar, to, similar to the one in Russia. What is it called? Uh, the Bagalubov Shul. Menor, Menorah Center. Yeah. Okay, let's go through a, a, quick, a quick, uh, a quick uh, review of the architectural plans for a shul. So, I, the, the, the big thing is, as you see here from the uh, view of Alocha, is not to try to build it like a temple. I think when the Chesam Sefer came later and said from, that the uh, Mizbeach was Be'emtza, that was like Yehuda Void Lekra. That was, I mean, really what bothered the Chesam Sefer. It should not look like it. shouldn't look like a temple. What's That's a double posh. What's a temple? A temple? The, the Goyim wanted to, uh, the, the Yidin that Nebuch were, were from, yeah, wanted to build a shul that looks like a Goyish place. They called it the name place. Um, yeah. So let's review a few Nakudas. Um, number one, the Gemara that we learned last week that it has to be has to be b'mokim gavoya. The Midi says b'mokim gavoya ladafke means that it should be the most impressive building. It should look nicer than the, the other houses around in the neighborhood. So it should it should look nice. On the other hand, it shouldn't have that look of a temple or a bate notze. It shouldn't have that look. Um, you know, like sometimes, uh, you know, like you think you'll do nice architectural work and you'll do, you'll copy this famous, uh, you know, no, it shouldn't be make noch gemacht. It shouldn't be uh, a, a modeled after uh, 
versteht sich nicht whatever it is, or but also not uh, things that are unique for Goy. Um, there has to be a proizder. There always has to be, that's a befeder should be sefta. You into the shul right away. Right, there should be a proizder. The, the Oren Kodesh is to be towards Yerushalayim and should be in the center, if possible, of the direction of Yerushalayim. What, how you figure out direction of Shalim, we'll talk about another time. Then we have two minhagim. The regular minhag is that, uh, that the uh, that the chazan is on the min, and some Hasidic places have the lesmoy. The bima again is beemza, and there's a discussion of beemza mamish, you know, a little bit towards the front, a little towards the back. Spar the and uh, and the, the the entrance should be. Maybe in the middle, but maybe to the right and maybe to the left. Then there is a concept of having a, uh, uh, and then there's the Ezra's notion, which uh, there's a discussion about that, which is how long, how big does the, does the Mechitza have to be? How high? Or? How high does the Mechitza have to be? Ongerum and Vayidin, that Acharedim, Ladvar Hashem, that's a bit of a portion that it has to be. Lamay Lama Kremesish. The man can't see the women. Um, that's the bottom line. That's the foil, the way, uh, you know, Agam, the Tanei Shuls, that are relying on a Tshuva from the Moshe. When the Moshe said that the Mechitz is not that the men can't see the women, it's that there shouldn't be a Dim Taroivis. And a person that's looking is, uh, he's an Abala Beda, so who cares about him? So uh, let him stay home if he's a balaveda. They have the shul in here, cells in my door on you. Yeah. It's a wooden machitza, not so high. But then they have a glass machitza that the woman can see from there to right. here, and the man cannot see from here. Yeah. So yeah. The, there's one, there's a few more nakudas. Okay, so we said that uh, there's the there's the platform in the front, which is a duch and three steps. There's the beam that shouldn't be more than six steps. There's the zor of the twelve windows, and there's a rebbe Ege, interesting that says in the beginning of the uh, hagog. We don't have it here in the copy that in the in the courtyard of the beisak. The, those days, the beisak nesses usually had a chotzer, and just like the beisak mikdash, it was also next to the mizbeach to have an elon. It's a it's a way to say in the Torah. Why? Because that's what the Goyim used to do in the in the Bible Desires that they had at Ada. In order because that was nice, you know, so that's so people used to come there. So now I have a shade of it's that in the chotz of the basic nesses should not be a tree. Interesting. Uh, What's up? I didn't see today people should be marked with. First of all. We don't have it's so not, much. That's really nice. It's no real estate, but they have, huh? we don't have the space that the trees have. It. You know, and also, I don't know if the hedges is the same like trees. He meant trees, trees, trees that grow up and that uh, give nice shade. Also, he meant in like in Europe when the basic nesses had a a chotzer, a courtyard. A lot of the botanists today they don't have a courtyard. They maybe have a front yard and a backyard property that belongs to them. But uh, if a meant like when there's walls, like you know. Which is connected to the base Aknesis. And that you shouldn't have um... anything to do with the lighting. Flash and wave. Like yeah, that. we're going to talk about it later. That there should be a lot of lights. Wooden tabs of Hashem. Okay. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, that we're in the Sufya. Sunlight or Muhammad or God? Muhammad or Kabi. So, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, that we're in the Sufya. So, we continue next week and the following week uh, and, uh, until the Mitz Hashem, uh, the plans are all drawn up. And before they're drawn up, the Mitz Hashem, the Shepsit Kenny should come. I will finish building them in Yishalayim and I go. This will make for us up, man. I'm going to. This will be the song. Exactly. The song. That's the Zag of Israel. The Alaph is saying about the Lord. The Alaph is saying that people are making more opinions. Yeah. I'm worrying. I'm getting one of the things that I heard. You love. Yeah. It's in the class now. Sure, it's in there. It's in the shepherd. And it's in the shepherd. And it's in the shepherd. What does it? Speak to your wife. One in the hospital. Here's what's happening.